Hello friends, this side Rahul Pagan here and this time we would be covering a video which is on options adjusted spread. Before uh, talking about this video, let me tell you that we should not confuse option adjusted spread with the Z spread which is known as zero volatility spread. I hope you've been to our video which is zero volatility spread. Option adjusted spread should not be confused with zero uh, with Z spread. That is as simple as that. But before winding the, the uh, before starting this video, let me tell you the concept of the swap spread. There are three kind of swap spreads, which is say static swap spread, which is nothing but the difference of the relative corporate bond or a security with with the risk free security which is treasury. Another is which is Z spread. It is also known as static spread and sometimes also known as zero volatility spread. One is known as static spread, one is known as Z spread, one is known as OS which is known as also known as options adjusted Spread. Did we ever thought that why we are using options here? Ninety-nine percent of the of the answer would be coming. This this must have some link with the option. Of course, the guess is correct, but this is not the hundred percent guess. We need to appreciate that this static spread and the Z spread they both are not talking about something which is known as embedded derivatives. Or a bond or a government security or a corporate bond or maybe a you know MTN medium term notes we have something which is we have something which is known as uh, embedded derivative which is callable securities and which is known as portable securities And one thing which is also known as which is collared securities, which we are going to be discussed after that, which we are going to be uh, discussed af uh, after that. Now, in callable security, let's take an example. In callable security, suppose we have a bank GS Goldman Sachs who issued medium term notes of five years, amounting one billion dollars, and suppose they are play paying L plus uh, take it of take it of flat rate. Suppose they are paying 2.5% and they have a callable, callable. Now suppose this non hard, suppose the hard call period. What is hard call period? Hard call, hard call period is the period which is nothing but sim uh, simplistically known as which is exit, period, exit load. So till one year, nothing can be happen. And but it, after one year, if the interest rate would fell from 2.5% to say 2% and something like that, then in that sense, they have a right to call. They will pay the money out through the bondholders and get their bonds back. And in this regard, what would happen? You know, uh, they will issue the fresh bonds further in the market because of course, nowadays flotation cost is very less. They will issue again in the market and they will get a cheaper rate. Now that here you have one kind of option, which is callable. Take it other way. Take it a bank which is in a mess. Uh, take it uh, which is in a mess. HSBC. HSBC issued again mark MTN. Suppose it is one billion, and this is same five years, but this is portable. See the arrow. Callable arrow was this, and portable arrow is this. The difference is that here the hard call, hard call period is, is one year, which means till one year, if the interest rate will rise in the market, investor cannot, cannot surrender. But if after one year, interest rate will rise, same investor will surrender their, their uh, bonds and they will get their money. Now that option is known as portable. But how are we would going to value? Suppose today I want to calculate a spread. 
what is that spread i want to, to calculate a spread of gs mark medium term notes minus ust 5 year and answer is x i am putting question mark is that right this is not because ust 5 year do not have any embedded options while gs is having a embedded option so a bond which is having embedded option should not be covered, should not be compared with 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 a with a government security who do not have an embedded option this is preferably wrong this is not preferably this is technically wrong so what it meant what exactly it meant that you have to you know in this you this spread is known as option adjusted spread you have to add a spread repeat uh, listen me carefully you have to add a spread in a treasury yield say which is y say which is yield to maturity plus oas so once you do that over the period of the time and remember me this is not static in nature this is over the period of the time once you do that the present value of GS is equals to present value of UST. Now how you would be calculating that? The answer is very simple. It is a hit and trial approach. You need to take the, you need to uh, exclude the hard call period or hard put period. I repeat, you need to exclude hard call period and you need to exclude hard put period in this. And then you need to see that once after excluding that, what is the probability that it can be called and it can be put that probability needs to be converted into the basis point that probability needs to be converted into the basis point and that basis point is nothing but OS and that needs to be added here so while calculating the while calculating the swap spread of GS with UST we need to first calculate the OS the only difference here would be we need to calculate the probability of uh, the call and that is very easy that is relatively very easy uh, if you look at the bloomberg tv there are a lot of times when they are talking about the probability like take an example although we are not very far from june but as per bloomberg tv there is a 92 percent probability that federal reserve would hike the rate and take an example if today fed fund rates which is fed fund rates which is trading at one percent now if they are trading at one percent and there is a probability that you know this will increase to uh, by 25 basis point which means that by june this will go to 1.25 percent and take a fresh example suppose you are gs and you have a funding which is taken at one percent and which is callable which is callable in that sense you are not going to exercise your right because the interest rate is going to going up so there is a 92 percent probability that this callable feature will get worthless but take it otherwise if you are hsbc and you have taken the funding at one percent but this is not callable this is putable this is not callable but this is putable in that sense if it go to 1.25 percent then hsbc know that there is a 92 percent probability that it will get exercised and this 92 percent probability will tell hsbc that after the non hard put period sorry my mistake after the hard put period right they have to come to the market again for funding and if they need to the market again for funding then it is one percent right now it might go to 1.25 percent or maybe in the range of 1.25 percent to 1.5 percent now what is option adjusted spread which is this which is 25 basis point or 50 basis point precisely now we need to check out of this 25 basis point or 50 basis point what should be the option adjusted spread and this is what the game plan is and this is how we need to calculate os so once a trader would be calculating this spread position he would be calculating using this of course let me be very clear sometimes even the best channels like bloomberg are wrong because they are not they are not the god they are taking a prediction based upon a movement in the market like nobody ever thought that yesterday donald trump would join a conference and tell you know in a conference amongst hundred of uh, financial professionals that dollar is already reached on top nobody ever thought that nobody 
at least myself never thought that the that, 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 that intellectual class person like Donald Trump will do that. That is not that is bound to happen, but that has happened. So such kind of predictions needs to be considered carefully, not with a blind eye. But yes, if you are considering with a blind eye, then you know my answer. This was all about option adjusted spread. You always welcome to visit our website www.tragicalsulting.in. My mobile number is nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. My Skype ID is Rahul fifty three twenty seven. My email is Rahul dot Magan at the rate tragicalsulting dot in. Thank you and have a wonderful time.